So you want to be thinking about recording modes um, either when you want to go for a certain effect uh, mm -hmm. inside of your video or um, after you've done something that didn't go as you wanted. So recording modes are things that you use after you record your first thing, whether it's a audio recording or an animation, depending on what you want to go for, you want to select appropriate recording mode. Well, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare an object just to make a cool demonstration of those recording modes. So I want to have this leaf uh, without a background. I'll just remove the background real quick. Okay, I have a leaf. So for now, I'm going just to start record and record it falling. Maybe I shouldn't even use audio. Audio track is locked, so there's no audio recording. I can mute my microphone. It's the same result. So now I see that this little animation that I did is visible on the canvas from this to this moment. And this allows me to illustrate how those, mo the, how those recording modes, we call them that way, you see them here, uh, actually work because you can mix your recordings, adding more and more leaves to the canvas. So for example, I want two leaves falling in a different way. I'll use Inspector to duplicate this one. I'll go to edit, duplicate. Now I have two leaves. And if you remember, I already recorded movement of the first one. So when I play it back, this one moves. But the second one should move as well. So what I can do in order to provide this movement is to scroll to the beginning of the recording. Here was the moment when I added the sleeve. So maybe this is sleeve. So maybe I should start somewhere here. I'll press record and record move of the second leaf. Now I have both moving, right? And as you see, this little trick is really powerful. You can duplicate your object rerun the recording, adding more and more results to your video. Okay, this is, this is quite fun. So you can go on and on. And that's mixed recording for you. Explain everything will play every time when you record. Explain everything will play pre-existing recording, but will allow you also to add new elements to it. Yep, and make sure that if you don't want to record your voice again, to mute your microphone in the interface so that whenever you do a rerun, you add an animation, your voice doesn't get recorded so that there's only one voice track. Because that's where that, 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 that's a tip for you because sometimes people are wondering why I have so many audio tracks because they haven't muted their microphone when they were doing the additional takes. Exactly. It's best. It's best just do one audio take and then you know record your activity, animation, whatever you want to accomplish. But that's mix mode. What you can do is you can use two other modes. That's override for you. So for example, if I use override from this moment, let's say there are halfway down to the bottom of the screen and I will use override here just to show you what it does, it will say, okay, recording will overwrite existing content from second, uh, second onwards. All right, this is my new recording. So as you see, I did that. And now this animation, little animation that I provided stops here when I started my overwrite recording. But since I unmuted my microphone, there's new elements to it. So that's overwrite for you. But you can also do something really cool with this third mode, that is insert mode. Here, I can have explain everything, expand this portion of the recording and allowing me to add new content to it. So you see how close this movement here and this audio form is? I can actually insert recording in the middle, expanding this gap between both of those. So let me show you that. I'll unmute my microphone and I will start 
recording this time and in insert mode. And I will try to add this movement one more time. But now, instead of moving one leaf at the time, I will try to move three with my three fingers. So here we go. And the leaves are falling apart. That's the best I could do with just, you know, limited uh, resources, just three fingers. But as you see, now we see that on the timeline, this section is expanded. And I see one, two, three uh, hand gestures, as we call them, you know, movement, uh, movements. And those movements, they are related to how I grab those leaves, one, two, three, and how I move them downwards. So right. I so as you can, yeah, as you, as you can probably imagine, this is only possible on uh, touchscreen devices, uh, the, the sort of animation yeah. <laughs> at once. And insert mode uh, is only available on mobile apps. So Chromebooks, iPads, and Android tablets. Web version doesn't feature insert recording mode yet, but it's coming. So mm -hmm. stay tuned.